guys, I've been laying in bed all day. I feel pretty sick actually. I'm pretty congested and I keep sneezing. My throat is sore. I think all my Vegas fun times have kept caught up with me and now I'm sick. Um, I still have stuff to get done today, so hopefully I'll get up out of bed at some point. Um, but I have t a feeling today is going to be a boring day because I'm exhausted and feeling ill. Hi, Roxy. What are you doing? Uh, my nose is still running, uh, but right now I'm organizing all of my receipts. I have them by month for 2011 because I have to pay taxes really soon. It's really good to get in the habit of keeping all your receipts um, so that uh, you can get tax deductions and all that kind of stuff. Because um, I've, I've spent so much money on equipment for my living that I need to keep my receipts and make sure those get accounted for when I do my taxes. <laughs> okay. No way, you gotta keep yeah, oh, there's a green light. Just touch the bus. <laughs> Check that off my bucket list. <laughs> okay, I just realized this song that's playing over the radio. This is the very first song when I got my, my uh, 1979 Cadillac Eldorado in my senior year of high school. I wanted to drive into school and it sounds so cool and we didn't have like a CD player or anything like that. It had like an old fashioned radio in it. And we're like, just get the cool song. Like we were trying to look for a song to play and we roll in. And this is the only song that was on the radio that was, like wasn't static. So we rolled into school with this song playing. But we're at Staples right now looking for mailers so I can mail you guys your posters and stuff. Um, I have to find the right size of everything. All right, I need to mail out 60 posters and there are not 60. <laughs> I'm gonna have to like come back and steal all their poster mailers. I'll get like 10 at a time each time I come here. <laughs> you shouldn't make money on the street doing this. Oh yeah, sure, sure. I gotta finish before she gets back. Alright, we just went to Hollywood 20 because we're gonna see Project X, that like party movie that's coming out. I'm interested to see. It's in like, there's a shot in a weird style, and I wanna see what it's like. Yeah. Um, but we were gonna see the one at 8 o'clock, but it has subtitles on it, so we decided <laughs> to go to the 941. So now we have two hours just kinda hanging around downtown. We're kinda craving like a coffee, so we might go get some coffee. for a banana smoothie. I think that'll make me feel better. Okay, so tonight we saw the movie called Project X. And I have to admit, I was excited to see it because um, it's just basically a party movie, but it's filmed as if it's real, like a documentary or something like that, so I was interested to see it. It did have really cool cinematography and a really good soundtrack, and it just seemed like a giant Kid Cudi music video. However, I felt very uneasy about the plot of the movie. Um, there's like a lot of drug abuse and drinking and which is normal in a movie but the movie shot really realistically and there seems to be no consequences for anything these guys do um, because of what they do they, bec they become like basically the most popular kids in school and everybody loves them and there are lots of movies like Superbad that share a similar plot but in these movies um, there seem to be more consequences for their actions they do like less um, life-threatening things and it's filmed you know, unrealistically, like a comedy, and so it seems less, you know, realistic and like it could actually happen. Um, and the characters in Superbad have, you know, depth and they're developed and they, um, you know, question their actions and they feel remorse and all that kind of stuff, where in Project X I didn't, I just felt like they were completely flat and like, um, I don't know, got away with anything they did. Another huge problem I had, and I don't know, this is just something I'm trying to work on um, as I grow up and as a female, is the women in Project X, I just made me feel extremely uncomfortable. Um, they have no character whatsoever, they, um, they're just these objects of, they, like, they're just naked the entire time, and they're dumb, and they're um, reckless, and uh, they're also supposed to be teenagers, and we all, you see them all naked, and it just seems really, really wrong. And I guess you could say the women are portrayed that way in this movie, it's because um, it's told from the point of view of these three guys. Um, but I don't know, like in movies like Superbad, it's told from the point of view of these guys, but all the girls in the movie are, you know, relatable and interesting and multidimensional and, um, not just ready to get naked at any moment and just, you know, I don't know, I just felt like they were ready to please the guy characters at any minute, no matter what. Um, they didn't even have to do anything besides get them drunk or give them drugs. So, I don't know, I felt overall I had a pretty horrible message. Um, it is a movie, so I, don't, yeah, I guess you shouldn't take everything to heart, um, but... I guess that's why it's rated R, and so someone under 17 wouldn't 
take it as reality. Um, and you can't blame movies for, you know, what messages they bring. I just feel like it was flat and, I don't know, it, it just showed like a horrible image of teenagers. Like, it just didn't even make them interesting to me at all. Um, but if you want to go for the visuals and the music, I say go. Um, and also, you might have a different opinion of me, so... Um, if you have a different opinion than me, feel free to share it in the comments because I would like to hear what you guys think. Maybe some of you younger guys, what you think and if you've seen it. Um, so overall, I don't think I liked it. I like Superbad much, much better. And I also felt like the characters were kind of rip off of the guys from Superbad. Hi, Lady Daddy. Is it true that Ryan Gosling will be playing as Walt Disney in Walt the movie? I'm not sure, but can, can you guys help me find out? I saw the poster and it looks so cool. Here is the poster and I really hope this is true. So if any of you guys know, please let me know. Alright, I am exhausted, so I'm going to sleep, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I like girls that don't like me, I wonder if we'll ever meet, but chances are you're not for me, cause I'm not sure about anything, no.